You know, there comes a time where you cannot hack the need for help. <laughs> this is Mark Silver from Heart of Business. And as your business progresses along the, you know, the line of development where you start to do better and better, you get more and more clients, things start to really work. And so you start to get busier and so you implement systems and you start to make things work more smoothly. You know, I've seen some of our clients go, okay, I'm gonna stop and kind of like make the client intake process really smooth and easy. And I'm gonna make, you know, like just creating systems and workflows that make you more productive and more efficient and you spend less time doing it. And there is a limit to that. Eventually, eventually, you're going to get to the point where you need help. And, and I want to name some of the top places where we recommend people get help, hire outside help, even if you have the skill to do it. Sometimes you don't have the skill and it's just kind of obvious, but even if you have the skill to do it. So I'm going to list them off. The first place that I really recommend, it's actually the very first thing that I want people to get help with, is bookkeeping and accounting. This can happen relatively early in business development and we recommend it one because there's often a really a big emotional burden around um, bookkeeping, around caring and tracking your money. And furthermore, accounting, having somebody do your taxes, which is different than bookkeeping, um, but related. Uh, tax laws change every year, deductions that are available to people who are self-employed, especially in the United States, uh, probably in other countries as well. It just is so worth it to have somebody do your bookkeeping and to have somebody do your taxes. And the reason why this can happen earlier is because bookkeeping for a small self-employed practice is uncomplicated. It can be fairly inexpensive to have it done. And then, oh my goodness, January 30th of the new year and you just turn all of your stuff over to your accountant and boom, your taxes are done and your numbers are all there and you know where your business is. So that's the first thing, really highly recommend it. The second thing that I really recommend people get help with has to do with um, anything to do with like tech and especially web related tech. I know there's a lot of places where you can DIY your website and that's fantastic and if you can do that, go for it, you know, it can come later. But eventually there's probably going to be some things that are going to be a little bit more complicated that you want to do with your website, whether it's taking orders online, whether it's making sure that your autoresponder series works, you know, for very particular audiences and segmenting, whether there's just more sophisticated things you start to do with your business and with your website. For you to be able to hire someone and have them make your website look really beautiful and professional and for them to be able to deal with the tech aspects that you may wrestle with for hours and hours. Instead they go and it's done. That relieves so much emotional stress. It relieves so much time, frees up time for you and it helps you to actually make the business work better. The third place where people tend to get help uh, that we recommend highly, and it's the third in this sequence, is administrative help. Administrative help means that you're hiring probably a virtual assistant of some sort uh, who can help, you know, it's like you want to send out a newsletter, or you want to post the blogs, or you want to get social media out there, or you want to get forms to clients, or you want to get billing issues resolved, you know, something that, and, and you have an assistant, you have administrative help who can get that done. It means that you can spend a half hour or an hour creating content and hand it off instead of spending an additional hour or two dealing with all the tech stuff around getting it out. The reason why these pieces are so important in the sequence is because the idea of a successful self-employed person totally solo is a lie, the same way that it's a lie throughout most of society because we all need help. None of us do it on our own, right? Every business depends 
on an entire ecosystem of a society and an economy, whether it's the post office, whether it's the roads, whether it's the um, banking system, wh whatever it is, there's all these different things that we depend on and you're already getting help. You might as well get a little bit more help in the areas that are really burdensome to you so that your business can really fly. Now, it's a separate question about deciding exactly when to bring in each of those pieces. And uh, you, you suffice to say that you don't want to bring on too much too soon because there's no reason for it to be a financial burden. But you do want to bring it on before you're completely exhausted and wiped out and you're missing out on opportunities and dropping balls on clients. So I hope this has been helpful for you to start to think through the kind of help you can get in your business and the sequence to do it in. Um, if you have any questions or comments, I'm also curious to hear about your experience. Let's, uh, let's talk about it. Let me hear about it. All right, blessings to you and your business.